So we'll uh, have the presentation first, and this is a presentation by a Sam Bamboo Ethanol Private Limited. Now this stands as an example of large-scale biofuels enterprise with linkages to the grassroots with regard to feedstock with the potential of positively impacting lakhs of northeastern India village households. So I invite the presenter from Assam Bamboo Ethanol Private Limited for the presentation, which is going to be further setting the tone and the context of our uh, panel discussion. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Pranab Nath, and I'm representing Numoliga Refinery Limited. And I'm very much delighted to be presenting before you. So uh, uh, already uh, the theme of the presentation is already been uh, described. So I'm going to focus before you how the bamboo supply chain is being designed. This Assam Bioethanol Private Limited, it is the first of its kind bamboo to fuel ethanol making plant in the nation and uh, very soon we are going to be operational which is going to be inaugurated on 8th of September this year. So, yeah. Okay, so just to skim through the slides because there is, uh, uh, you know, shortage of time. So left, to the left side of the slide I am showing the trend of increase in temperature then again the CO2 level in the atmosphere. So this is all due to different you know, reasons, human-made reasons. So as a solution to this thing throughout the world, different schemes have been designed, which is focusing on primarily on biofuel. So as a result of that, different projects have come out throughout the, uh, uh, all the, throughout the world. And uh, uh, to the right side of the slide, I'm showing what are the developments in India. And among them, one is the bioethanol plant where I belong from. So Assam Bioethanol Private Limited, the uh, foundation stone was laid in back in 2019. And now the project uh, is in 99.9% and very soon we are going to be oper operational. So this is just to give a glance of what is going on at site. These are the uh, views of the different, uh, you know, uh, these plants. Uh, we have a raw bamboo handling plant and fractionation unit followed by washing and hydrolysis chemical recovery and uh, whatever is left out after all the chemical processing that will be used for making electricity. So this is overall schematic of the whole process from where we are starting with bamboo biomass and we will be making five products. These are the five products and we are you know, uh, following uh, or best in the uh, best on the this national biofuel policy, which ultimately aims to benefit the farmers. So, bamboo is the main feedstock for our refinery, and we are well aware of the different uses of bamboo. And uh, in addition to that, we are making fuel grade ethanol out of it. So this is a, uh, you know, chemistry uh, behind this biorefinery. Bamboo mainly it has three prime components, cellulose, hemicellulose and lignin. From cellulose we are getting ethanol and after fermentation we are getting uh, food grade CO2. From hemicellulose we are making acetic acid followed by furfural, a high value industrial chemical. And from the lignin part because it is having calorific value, we are getting electricity. So bamboo it is very much profusely available, so many species are there and uh, it has already been categorized under uh, yeah, 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 to be a premium cash crops and in addition, in addition to that we are now using this for fuel grade ethanol production. So this is a report that is being uh, made by Forest Serve of India in 2023. This report gets updated every two years. So this shows that all the northeastern states they are very much prof uh, you know, rich in bamboo diversity as well population. So we are taking the benefit of this, you know, availability. So what are the priority species that are being used in our plant? We are mainly focusing on seven species. This list is not exhaustive, just an indicative one. The biomass, which, uh, the bamboo species, which gives more yield per unit farm area. So Tulda, Balkua, Nutans, and these are the name of those species. 
mainly we are focusing on those species which are rich in cellulose, less in lignin, and more in hemicellulose content. So the sourcing uh, we'll be doing from four neighboring states, Assam, primarily Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, and Meghalaya. 18 districts from Assam, four from Arunachal, Nagaland, and one from Meghalaya. So this is a value chain design that uh, has been done. We will be directly in touch with the farmer communities, forest, uh, you know, communities as well as joint forest management committees. The farmer can sell directly their farm produce to our refinery. They will be onboarded into our system and payment will be done directly to their bank account. And in between, we can see the harvest income internet service provider who will help to, you know, ensure that bamboo reaches our plant in the timely manner. So in the whole value chain, we'll be employing some 30 to 40,000 people in the value chain. Ultimately, we'll be contributing to the green job. Uh, so this is a model of decentralized bamboo processing unit, which will be there in all the districts throughout the sourcing states. And this is in a, you know, Barcha view of the area from where sourcing will be done. And how to manage the, you know, big number of uh, stakeholders that will be associated with us. For that, one in-house supply chain software solution has been met. This is done by Tata's consultancy service. And wherein we have different modules and uh, different, you know, aspects of technologies have been incorporated wherein all the farmers will be having their own account. They can view their transaction in a timely manner. So obviously this is a very, you know, huge task to manage so many of stakeholders and I know nodal agencies. So we are collaborating with all the nodal agencies and state bodies, uh, you know, so that to, we, can, we can work uh, for the farmers aspect and we can address all the issues. And uh, along with sourcing, we are also prioritizing the energy farming area. And uh, with the help of state, uh, state forest department, we are working with uh, you know them and agriculture universities, universities for you know uh, uh, let farmers know how to do energy farming in a bigger scale in an industrial way. So this is just a yield chart for you know let people know how much they can expect per unit of farm area. And this is obviously uh, some glimpse of the collaboration we are doing. And uh, for the purpose of giving good quality planting material, we have associated with tissue culture facilities, government bodies, forest departments, so that farmers can get good high yielding varieties of bamboo. And uh, these are the core driving principles, uh, and we are implementing that in the ground. So ultimately, these are the broader prospect. Bamboo, as we are all aware that this can sequester huge amount of carbon, 17 ton per hectare per, uh, area, per year. So overall, the project is going to, you know, uh, protect bamboo plantation, which can capture as much as 170 million metric ton per year, 1,000 metric ton per year. And uh, in a whole, yeah. So this is almost the end of my slide. So uh, thank you very much.